Hi good day, it's you again, thank you for passing by. For today's video, it'll show you how to install macOS to 9 years old Acer laptop. As you can see the laptop is very old and outdated. The model of this Acer laptop is E5-47132NW and it was manufactured May 23, 2014. The first thing we do to install macOS is to determine what exact processor we used. To check that, we need to install this app called CPUZ. Check the description below for the link. Open the CPUZ app. Here in the code name, we have Haswell ULT, it might be different from yours. We check this because we need to download the exact EFI for this processor. EFI means Extensible Firmware Interface it is a partition on a data storage device usually a hard disk drive or solid state drive. Here are the files needed, check the description for the link. This one is the Mac OS operating system, let's download this one. And this one is the EFI. As the CPUZ says, I am using Haswell ULT. After downloaded the file, extract each of them. You need the WinRAR or any app that can extract the zip file or compress file. After extract we need a USB flash drive at least 1GB is enough. Reformat the flash drive as FAT32 system. Rename the flash drive, in my case Mac OS. Now copy the extracted files. Rename this folder to EFI only. Everything is set. Now plug in the internet cable. You ask now why, it is because it will install over the web server. Reboot the laptop into the BIOS and set the boot option first the USB flash drive. You can skip this part if you know how to boot directly to the flash drive by pressing the dedicated bootable button on your keyboard. And now save the BIOS setup. Select your flash drive that you rename earlier and hit enter. Now select disk utility, we need to reformat first. Select show all devices. Here, name your macOS drive on this laptop. I am using hard disk drive on this, if might be better if I have SSD. The format on this drive should be follow, select APFS and the scheme is GUI partition map. Alright the drive is now formatted and created new partition, close this and select the reinstall Mac OS. Now select the Mac OS drive and wait to finish the installation over the web. It will depends on your internet how long to finish the installation, in my case I took 1 hour. It will reboot multiple times and that was ok, all you need to do is to wait.
Alright successfully installed. Just follow what macOS ask. It will ask to identify the keyboard, just follow the instruction. Alright, the next we need to do is to transfer the EFI. Why? Because when we pull out the flash drive it won't boot. To do that we need this trick to transfer the EFI from the USB to the laptop hard disk drive. I will leave the link on the description for the software we need. Open the mount EFI dot command. In this terminal it will ask what drive is the Mac OS were installed. You can choose by typing number. Just follow what I did. This program will help us to make the EFI folder visible so that we can transfer the EFI from our flash drive to the laptop hard drive. Just overwrite all the files. Alright we can now remove the flash drive. We can boot the laptop normally. That's it guys I have now Mac OS laptop just follow what I did and it will result same as this. It will take time to install but it worth it. I am using hard disk drive on this, it might be lag but it works fine. I know, it will get better if I'm using SSD. Alright thank you guys hope you enjoy the video. I hope you're learn new from this. Please help me to get 10k subs soon. Thank you and have a nice day.